TOA community, what's up everybody? Robert Linkle, trainingtheolderadult.com. Uh, during a workout the other day, I was talking to my clients and I started, I got into this story about, um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Chris Hemsworth, Jason Momoa, you know, all, all, the, all the movie stars, Tom uh, Cruise, all the stars that, that do a lot of their own stunts, right? And so I start going down this, this whole storyline about talking about each of them. And I have this moment and I go, you know what? Now that I think about it, you know what you never see? You never see a superhero in shorts. You always see them shirtless, but you never see a superhero in shorts. So it got me thinking, I started going through it, and I'm like, why is that? And it's because they don't train their legs, okay? They don't train their legs at all, really, right? So I wanted to take a little bit of a deep dive into this. Number one, Chris Evans. Chris Evans is one of the most beautiful human beings <laughs> that I've ever seen. This dude, it's Captain America, okay? He's got amazing upper body development. Like when you see him in the Captain America outfit, there's not a whole lot of muscles that are built into that suit. That's what he looks like, okay? Amazing delts, awesome biceps. Look at his freaking arms, okay? This is right when he, this, and this was in the first Captain America. You should see him now, 10 years later. He's had all that time to lift. Ripped abs, big pecs, great arms, wide shoulders, awesome. You know where you see him in every single scene? He's wearing pants, you know? You know why? Because he doesn't have big bulging thighs underneath there. How about Chris Hemsworth, Thor, right? My guy. Just did this whole great series on how to improve your health, Peter Atia, the whole crew. I loved it. I think they should talk to him about skipping leg day, okay? Look at the tricep. He has more tricep hanging off the back of his arm than he does on his thighs, okay? Definitely skips leg day. I will give him a tiny bit of a pass because I know he does have a back injury. So a lot of individuals that have lower back injuries can't produce a lot of you know, lower body push or pull strength because their back is kind of the limiting factor. But there are ways to get a hypertrophy-based effect and get some bigger legs. You just got to train them. You got to do it. You know, I watch his videos, I watch him, you know, even when he's doing some, the rope climb and all this kind of stuff, you're like, bro, I don't think you train your legs really at all. I think he's really about his upper body. He's almost top heavy, especially in this photo, right? You can just see how tiny his calves are. This could also be angles a little bit too, so I won't give him too hard of a time. How about old Marky Mark over here? Look at this one. I mean, there's some thigh meat there, but not very well defined. I will grant this was back when he was like doing Calvin Klein ads, which I still think he does, but... This was a while ago. His, you know, 4 a.m. club, that whole thing. There's a couple of pictures I found where he does, you know, he's doing quad extensions. So everybody's swollen and pumped when they're doing quad extensions. But he does have more legs now. But even in the movie still, you never see him in short shorts. How about Aquaman, Jason Momoa? I love Jason Momoa. I think Jason is probably the closest superhero out there to like a real dude, like a real person. This is he, the, the guy that he plays, I feel like is how he is in real life. He's just kind of this like American badass, wearing leather, riding motorcycles, just being a bad dude who can just walk around with one of these on. But look at the thighs. There's some, some again, there's a, a size of a thigh, but not a lot of big muscular. The gal next to him has way more thigh development than, than, than he does. I mean, she's ripped. She's jacked all the way through. And Momoa, though he's off season and not like training for a movie, right? Like he's Aquaman. He's super, super fit and gets his upper body jacked. I watch a bunch of their videos. Uh, Mike Isratel does these great uh, celebrity workout videos that are really, really fun to watch. And he went through Momoa's and there's a lot of rock climbing and some other work he does. But, you know, for the most part, he did okay. And then this guy over here. This is a jiu-jitsu uh, guy. That's um, uh, Ryan Gordon, Gordon Ryan, Gordon Ryan, Ryan Gordon. That's Gordon Ryan, and he's a jiu-jitsu guy, and he's got more thigh than Jason. Maybe the same. I love the tattoos. They're, they're awesome. And then you come across this guy, old Hugh Jackman, right? The, uh, the Wolverine. Pulling, you know, hundreds of pounds off the floor, doing his hex bar. Look at the arms. Look at the shoulders. Super jacked. He's got some legs in there. He's got some thighs. You can't pull this kind of weight if you don't have at least some lower body strength. But where's the bulk? Where's the size? Why do your arms and your shoulders not match your thighs? Where is the bulkiness? Look, even here, like he's pulling 500 pounds off the floor. Arms rippling. Thighs, nothing. So who, who in this world can we turn to? What superhero could we truly look at and go... If I needed you to come and save me, 
and there wasn't a stiff breeze out there to blow you over because you're so top heavy, who is going to stay grounded and be able to rescue me? Who is it? My man, the rock. Look at those thighs. Look at that old black Adam himself. How about this guy? Okay. I have not seen the black Adam movie. I haven't seen it. I, it's supposed to be like the anti-hero or something. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Probably the only rock movie that I haven't seen. I'm just not a huge like Marvel superhero. I'm just not into it. We haven't seen any of the Marvel, the Avenger movies, maybe a couple of them. It's just not, it's just not something we're into. And my kids get scared by all the aliens in them. We've tried to watch a couple of times, but everything else that the rock has done, we watch all of it. I freaking love the rock. Okay. I love him, but look at those legs. That's a man. Number one, that dude can pick me up and drag my body away and get me out of harm's way because he's got tree trunk thighs. His rippling quadriceps are equally as impressive as his arms, his delts and his shoulders. And like I said earlier, there won't be a stiff breeze coming through to knock this guy off his feet. He is very well grounded in some leg development there. And I happen to know that the rock does struggle with some lower body injuries, but still he belt squats. He lunges like a motherfucker. Like this dude takes a couple hundred pounds of chains, puts them around his neck and just lunges back and forth and back and forth until his legs burn so freaking bad that he can't walk right. That's how you overcome your ability of not maybe being able to back squat anymore, five, 600 pounds, and you're able to still keep some massive thighs. So hats off to pants off to the rock <laughs> for rocking the short shorts and building some quadriceps. And uh, to everybody else on this list here, let me give you some advice. Don't skip leg day. Don't skip leg day. You know what's going to carry you through this life physically? Your legs. You're not walking around on your hands, bro. So train your legs. Well, I, I was watching one the other day where a guy's like, well, I train upper low, I train upper body and pecs and chest, this one, and my shoulders and back, this one, and my arms and that. And then on the fourth day, I do legs, but I only like to do legs like once every other week. And I'm like, why? Why, why is it not at least equal, if not more? Your, your legs are so important to what we do. It's, it, it's what's going to move you about through this world. Pretty important to have some legs underneath you. So don't skip leg day, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Much love to everybody. Continue to fight your good fight against sarcopenia. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.